Yeah, so today I'm going to have a look at Regroover Pro because I'm using it in this track that I'm making. Now, Regroover Pro is built for drums, not for samples, so it's not going to work as well with samples. Uh, it's an algorithm that is running inside, it's making its own magic, but it's specific for drum loops. So it's going to divide a drum loop into several sections, it's going to create a section of the snare that kicks in the hi-hats. You can see that in other videos on YouTube, including me. I did a video on that as well, but I'll be using it today. And this is one of the main reasons why I got the plugin is because I want to try it with samples as well, because sometimes samples come with different layers. You're going to have a violin with uh, another instrument in the middle and you might want to try and take these two apart. That was my first uh, idea about the plugin. Obviously it doesn't work as well as it, does with drums because it is a plugin that's built for drums but you know you can have a go and sometimes it does work uh, well enough for you to get something good out of it and the sample is this one so you see a lot of things you can hear a lot of stuff going on there you have a violin then you have a kind of a harp sound as well in the middle there so the thing is, I want to try and take away that vinyl that you hear on top there because I don't want that vinyl all the way through the whole beat. And you can try to filter it out, but then you're filtering out all the sound so it doesn't work. And this is where Regrover Pro comes in handy because you can import the audio there and then you can divide the different, the different sounds. As I said, it doesn't work as well with, as with drums you know, but uh, it, it does some sort of magic there that it allows you to access uh, different sounds of that sample. So I grabbed that and then actually cut that sample and I created four sections. So I can have fun with it and create my own uh, melody with it. So so that's the beat, right? But Mm, that vinyl on top, it needs to go. I want some sections where I don't have that violin. Now I can create other sounds and try to implement other sounds in the beat, but I want to I want to use Regrover Pro for this. I went to my sequence, right? Sequence number two. That's where my beat is. So this is track one. This is where my sample is. Okay, so I can just tap that thing right there okay so I'm just going to grab that I'm going to put it on my desktop so let's go to regroover open up the plugin just drag that sample inside it it's going to do its magic Okay, pretty cool. Now, what we can do then is we can use just one of the layers and export it as, as a layer. Or you can try to find, figure out if there are layers that you want to mix together. Now, I might want to try and mix this layer here. So I'm going to go right there, grab that, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, and I'm going to unsolve with this. I'm going to grab this section right here as well. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to put this audio here and this audio and this audio and combine it with this layer right here. Okay, and I'm going to block this one. Okay, so these two can match that one. And let's just uh, split this. Now we have 
a new layer right here. Everything that was on here in here just disappeared and got combined with what's under here. So this is our new layer. Okay, and then, then it's the same thing I've shown you. You can just grab this and export it out as a sample. Grab it. Export it as a sample. Let's go here to my track. Where's my track? I think it's number four, maybe. Five. Okay. I'm just going to drag that sample here. So it's a good movement from the 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 main beat that I was playing jump into the to this sequence it plays out really well And that's how you can work with Regroover Pro. Just grabbing the sample that you have and try to separate them into layers and then you'll get different samples from that. And you can reach up that as well, bring that back into the, the MPC. So Regroover Pro, although it is built for drums, it doesn't mean that you, you should only use it for drums. Samples work as well. As I said, the algorithm is built for drums, not for samples. So you're not going to get some something perfect out of it but you can get some ideas out of it that might work like this one. If you're interested in the samples, this stuff is in the Patreon. You know, if you don't know already, I put a lot of stuff on Patreon. A lot of these samples, this one went just yesterday to Patreon. People have been using my samples for quite a long time. They like it. If you want it, just be part of Patreon. I put stuff like this all the time right there. Uh, I'll give you a showcase of the samples that I was working with today. Uh, do, 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 do. 